on five, a prostitution problem in an up and coming neighborhood. We're talking about west side neighborhoods like Ohio City and the Detroit Shoreway and neighbors say the problem is getting worse. And Derek Walder, you're live in that neighborhood where you ask what police are doing to clean up the streets. Well, we are on Detroit Avenue near West 65th Street, and police recently posing undercover got several Johns and prostitutes off the street, but some neighbors are worried they weren't off the street for very long. It's scary for me. It's scary for my daughters. This woman, too afraid to show her face, says the prostitution is so bad off Lorraine Avenue. John's trying to pick up her daughters all the time. It's pretty scary when a guy comes up to you and is trying to get you in their car. One bar even posted this no public restroom sign to keep the girls out. Now, News Channel 5 has learned Cleveland police arrested nine people, four women and five men, after they solicited undercover officers during a November 13th sting. Cops hit up Detroit Avenue from West 45th to West 83rd and Lorraine from West 50th to West 80th. And it's not the first sting. This is video from one in the same area last year. And victims advocates like Renee Jones say it will be far from the last. You can order somebody up just like you're ordering a pizza. Jones and her teams hit the streets at night with these care packages to encourage the women to seek help. Those services even include the court system. As of last year, prostitution has its own docket. Instead of them being treated as criminals, they are now being treated as victims, and that means that they are offered services that can help them get their lives restored. City Councilman Matt Zone tells me the problem won't stop unless more neighbors demand it. We need business owners, property owners, residents who live in the community to be our eyes and ears. And neighbors say this is not just a nighttime problem. They say it is happening all hours of the day at near schools and libraries, near bars and restaurants. Some business owners worried it'll drive their customers somewhere else. Live in Cleveland's West Side, I'm Derek Waller, News Channel 5.